What's up guys, today is episode 17 of the top 5 CDA tweaks of this week and I have a pretty interesting theme for you guys. If you want to have an animated iOS 7 lookalike lock screen, now you can with this awesome theme. You can also get the iOS 7 font from Cydia by searching iOS 7 font. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, so coming in at number 5, we have the Cydia tweak home display. This tweak basically will bring a very minimal extra status bar below the actual status bar and this one will actually describe the date and temperature, two very important elements that really lack on the home screen. You will find the date on the left and all the way to the right you will find the current temperature for your city. Next up we have banner swipe. I'm going to send myself a quick text here to get a notification and as you can see thanks to this tweak, I can now simply swipe either to the left or right to dismiss a notification. It works with any kind of notification, whether it is, you know, messages, games, phone calls, all that kind of stuff. And I think it's incredibly convenient to just get rid of that annoying pop-up. Coming up next is a fantastic tweak called Wi-Pi. Let's go into the settings of the tweak and you'll see that you have to use an activated gesture to activate it. I'm going to scroll all the way down and use hold status bar, but you're welcome to use whatever gesture you'd like. So now when I hold on to my status bar, it's going to say scanning, and then it's going to track all the available Wi-Fi networks that are close to me. Now instead of having to go into the settings to find a network, you can use this tweak instead. In second place, we have Absent. Now this one is very, very simple, but at the same time, it's very useful. When you download an app from the app store, you don't really know how much time or percentage, in this case, it has left. With Absent, you can now find out immediately when an app is downloading how much percentage is left, until the app is done installing. And last but not least, we have one of my favorite tweaks of all time, Card Switcher. It is a fantastic multitasking feature, very similar to iOS 7 in fact, and I absolutely use it all the time. As you can see here, you're able to swipe between different previews of those apps, and also you can swipe up or tap the X on top to get that application out of the multitasking mode. It's very fluid, at least in iOS 6, and to me, it's the best multitasking tweak out there. Well guys, hope you enjoyed this episode. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you on the next one.